In this video, we're going to talk about startups. I'm going to give you a couple of examples of problems that they are having so you can get a clear view why startups are failing. So, let's begin. The thing is, it's easy to start a company. It's easy to become a startup. But the problem is, it's hard to maintain it. So I'm gonna give you an example. If you have an idea, you can register your company and start selling your product or services. But the problem with it is, you need to have clients. And most startups are starting, they don't have clients. What they do is, they have an idea and they are hoping to get clients. And that's wrong. Another example is, when you have a startup, most of the time you write down a whole business plan and you expect everything to go according to the business plan, but it doesn't work like that. It doesn't. Let me show you what works. If you have an idea, just write it down on a business model canvas. If you do not know what the business model canvas is, or if you do not know how to use the business model canvas, or if you do not have an example of how to use the business model canvas, look at my other videos about business model canvas. They are explain to you what business model canvas is. So for now, if you have a company or if you're planning to start a company, it's important to have a business model. And your business model, you can show it by filling in the business model canvas. It's that simple. The question is, how can you use a business model? If your company has a business model, it's easy to know how you can get money and it's also easy to know what you should do and what you shouldn't do. It's that simple. For example, if I'm starting a company and I have an idea, I want to test if the idea is working. I want to make sure that I have three clients that are paying me. If you have clients and they're not paying you, your business model doesn't work. It's that simple. It's that simple. It doesn't matter which business model you have. I said it. It's that simple. The thing is, if you can solve people's problem, you need to ask money for it. And when you ask money for it, you have a business. It's that simple. If you don't ask money for it, you're just doing it for a hobby. Or you're just being nice. If you want to be that person, fine. Just do what you want. If you don't, just ask money for it. Yeah, you're solving their problem. Thing is, when you have a business model and you know how to earn money, you also know what kind of business model you should use in order to make your company better. And when you have a business model and when you have three clients, then you can call yourself a startup and then you should register your company. Don't do it before that. It's a waste of your time. If you need to get found for your project or anything else, I can understand that you need a business plan. But if you're starting with an idea, don't start with a business plan. Start with a business model. It's that simple. So the problem that um, startups are having is like they have a business plan, but they follow it. But sometimes it's fail, a plan fail. When you have a plan, expect it to go wrong and try to improvise. And that's, that's something that happens a lot when you're talking about startups. And when they improvise, they make a lot of mistakes because they don't have experience. It's that simple. So common problem with startup is, yeah, their finance is not good, their business plan is not good, they don't have knowledge about doing business and they do not know how to sell. If you know how to sell, then it's easy to maintain your company. But if you do not know how to sell, and if you cannot sell, you have a problem. It's that simple. So I show you what the problems are with startups. I also show you what you can do about it. Just start with the business model and test your product, test your idea. And if it works, then register your company. If you have questions about this video or anything related to startups, or you have a startup and you're thinking, okay, listen, I need help. Just ask me. I will see what I can do for you. See you in the next video.